Hey friends, welcome to Kids Worship at Canyon Creek Presbyterian Church. I'm Miss Emily, Director of Children's Ministries. And I'm Miss Sarah, Director of Children's Music, and we're so happy to see you this week. Yes, so we have another exciting week um, getting ready for Easter. So let's get started with a worship song and then we'll check it out. Alrighty, everyone, welcome back. So we're so excited to talk about our Bible passage this week. But first, let's just kind of review what we talked about last week a little bit. Right, so I hope you guys all had a chance to um, come up to the church and find your special treasure. And remember, if you didn't, you can always email me and I'll make sure you get one. But if you did, you got your little baby chick of some sort or another. And the baby chicks remind us of new life and hope. Um, and that we always have hope for something new and better and um, or just the continuation of things that are good. And we get that hope through our faith. And um, the Easter story is a big 
part of that. So it's part of why we see lots of eggs and baby chicks and all the springtime kinds of things when we're celebrating Easter. That's right. What a great message. And I'm so happy that we were able to start off our Easter season talking about that. Um, and so now let's look at a new Bible passage from the book of Psalms. So I'm going to grab my Bible and read that for us. Okay, so we are going to be reading from Psalm chapter 18, verses 1 through 3. I love you, Lord. You give me strength. The Lord is my rock and my fort. He is the one who saves me. My God is my rock. I go to him for safety. He is like a shield to me. He's the power that saves me. He's my place of safety. I call out to the Lord. He is worthy of praise. He saves me from my enemies. So what we are going to focus on today from our scripture is that our relationship with God and our faith is like a rock in our lives, right? So you've probably heard it um, several different scriptures, right? It's used uh, multiple times in the Bible and um, some of them are really popular uh, verses that you hear a lot and that we have probably used with you guys before too. So the Lord is my rock, my salvation, that kind of a thing. Yeah. And something that I think about, what does it mean for your faith to be like a rock? I mean, I don't really understand what that means. How can a fa how can your faith be like a rock? Right. Well, what I feel like it means is that, um, your faith gives you a really strong and steady foundation, mm -hmm. right? So when life feels a little bit shaky or you feel scared or, or things are uncertain or difficult, um, your faith and your relationship that you have with God gives you that like steady base, some firm ground to stand on just like a rock is hard and solid and steady, right? So it gives us just that that strong place to turn to. Absolutely. And that's such a great reminder um, to think of your faith that way, where when things can feel like they're getting crazy or uncertain, that your faith um, in God is there as your foundation. And just like the passage says, it's like a solid rock for you to stand on. So that's such a great thing to remember during this Easter season. Right. Yes. And speaking of Easter, the Easter story um, is such an important cornerstone of um, our Christian faith because the Easter story is part of what makes Jesus so special, right? And, um, and so we thought the rock imagery would be a good reminder of how um, important uh, Easter is to our faith also. Absolutely. Yes. Easter is such a special time and it's good to think of our faith like that as we lead up to that time of celebration. Um, so now, don't we have a special treasure to go find? We do have another special treasure. So this time we're not going to show you what it is, but now hopefully you guys went out last week and found the treasure. So you kind of know the routine so we are going to give you maybe a hint about where it is but we're not showing you what it is this time um and so anytime this week today or anytime this week you can come out find the treasure box and get your treasure yes so let's head there so we can give you a clue okay guys so i'm here to give you your clue for this week's treasure so here it is north of the church in this alcove you'll find your next clue for the week if you get here in time okay so let's head back to the kids worship room and close with a word of prayer
songs too It doesn't matter just where we are Cause God hears our voices from near and far So let's join and sing To worship the King Together Okay, friends. Uh, well, we hope you had so much fun with us. We loved sharing another week of getting ready for Easter and um, another treasure clue with you guys. Absolutely. And remember, you can come up to the church anytime this week and find that special treasure. So we hope to see you come by soon. And uh, before we go, let's close in prayer. Dear God, Thank you so much for giving us your son as our foundation of faith. Lord, as we go through this week and as we go through these months, we pray that you would remind us that our faith is like a rock in uncertain times. And we pray that you would um, remind us of that message as we prepare for Easter. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, we'll see you next week. Bye, guys.